Hello, welcome back to this week's Trader Joe's haul where I'm gonna be sharing with you all the new stuff, all the seasonal and everything else in between. Now this week I have lots of new stuff. There's a new frozen item that I'm really excited for. Um, can't wait to show you guys that. And there's also some Thanksgiving sides. Like I said last week, Thanksgiving starting to roll in now. So um, say goodbye to the pumpkin stuff. It's slowly trickling out. And now we've got Thanksgiving coming in in abundance. So stay tuned for that. There's a new side for Thanksgiving as well. And there is a lot of other things that I'm so excited to share. So if you guys are ready for this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. And don't forget that I have a taste test video to follow this one tomorrow. And the Costco video I just posted is my favorite of all time. So if you are a Costco shopper or you're curious about what Costco has, I highly recommend that video because Tim and I found some awesome stuff. So let's check out this video and I'll see you guys at the end. Hello everyone, welcome back. So the first thing I'm showing you here are the maple almonds. They are back. They came in for the first time last year and they are back again for a second season. They made the cut. So we've got the dry roasted maple almonds flavored with other natural flavors. So these are back in if you like these last year. Grab them while they're here. Now we also have the cranberries in, and I remember saying last week that I'm, you know, all the Thanksgiving stuff is coming in, and I wasn't wrong. You'll see in this haul lots of Thanksgiving sides and things, but none of the frozen Thanksgiving has come in yet, and nor the um, like turkey gravy or anything like that. So that will probably be next week. But the fresh cranberries are here if you've been waiting for those. And then the Brussels sprout saute kit. I absolutely adore this saute kit. If you haven't tried it, highly, highly recommend it. It is amazing and it is so simple. They give you all the instructions on the back on exactly how to prepare it and when to add the things that you need to add. And it just makes, it cuts the guesswork and the time in half if you're preparing these. And last year I actually made a full on Christmas spread for my family and I included the Brussels sprout kit and it, Everybody ate it, everybody loved it. So if you're looking for something easy and delicious, this is perfect and it is seasonal, so get it now. We also have the seasonal harvest apple salad kit back as well. So this is a really delicious salad, especially if you're one that likes to have um, fruit in your salad. So it does have apple cinnamon chips and pecans in this with an apple vinaigrette and there's the unexpected cheddar cheese in here too. So if you're a fan of all of those flavors, when you try it together, it is insanely good. And this comes with a ton of lettuce. So you can get two, probably two to three salads out of it if you're eating it on your own or like Tim and I, we always split the salad kits in half and we'll each have like a half for lunch and it is the perfect size for us. So um, this one's back and it's really exciting because this is a really favorite amongst so many people. So, and then I have of course got the Southwest chop again because now it's back in all the time and I don't have to worry about holding on to it early or anything so I'm happy to see this back I love this for a quick and easy meal like I said last week I just add a little rice and beans to it with some avocado and stir it up and it is the best meal and it's so filling and delicious and I just do half a salad for that so really yummy also these apples I I couldn't even help myself I walked by the table that had the um, sweetie crisp sweet and blushing with flavor apples and I kid you not you could smell these apples from a distance and so I came up to them and I gave them a sniff and wow these apples smell like candy and I cannot wait to try them and yes we are gonna try one in the taste test because these smell like the most incredible apple I've ever smelled to be honest and I think these would be really good to use in the caramel apple kit. So if you haven't used your apple kit yet, your caramel apple kit, maybe this is the apple for you. I'm definitely gonna be trying it with that kit because these apples just smell to die for. Now to just some regular staples. We got some shells and white cheddar for my son. My son also loves the Impossible Chicken Nuggets. These are available in the frozen section at Trader Joe's, so I keep these on hand when he's just having a hankering for nuggets, which most kids do, so I got those. Now to a brand new item. Finally, Trader Joe's came out with the Spanish-style rice. This is a long time coming, I feel like, because Trader Joe's hasn't carried a Spanish-style rice um, since I've been working there for nine years, um, and I'm just happy to see this. So. 
This will definitely be tried in the taste test, but let me show you the back for the nutrition facts. There you go. So it says four servings per container and half of a pouch is a serving size. So I'm curious to see if these are the same as the Jasmine white rice packs that I buy that has a three pack in there. What it sounds like is there's going to be two pouches because if a serving size is half of a pouch and there's four servings per container, that means there's going to be two, but let's open it to find out. And then you can also see the ingredient list too for yourself. Um, but I'm so excited. So let's check out what this looks like. And I was right. Look, there are two pouches in here. And these are microwavable, just like the Jasmine Rice. Wow, these are heavy. These are heavy pouches. And they're loaded with rice. I'm so excited to see how this tastes. And Spanish style rice sounds delicious. So I'm just looking forward to that. So yeah, that is now available at Trader Joe's in the frozen section, in case you want to know where it is. Now to a bread that has everyone's heart. If you've tried it and you know, then you're so excited that it's back because this maple streusel bread is unreal. It is unmatched, really. If you smell the bag, you will buy it. I promise you, unless you just hate maple. Um, but this is like such an incredible bread. You can freeze this. In fact, my coworker last night bought six loaves and he's like, yeah, I, this is how, just how much room I have in my freezer right now. So um, he's going to freeze them. So he has them year round. This is incredible. What he recommend, recommended to me is to just put a little butter and a little sea salt on it, which I thought was a great idea. So I've only had it really with just butter, but I'm going to try the sea salt idea because I thought that was really nice touch and it probably brings out the flavor even more. But this is such a delicious loaf of bread. Um, get it now while it's here and you will not regret it. Okay, moving on. So let's look at some other new items. We've got the autumn vegetable and white bean gratin. This is brand new this year. This has roasted cauliflower, butternut squash, and butter beans in a white cheddar cheese sauce. I it, I don't know what to think about this. I don't know if I'm excited or if I'm like, hmm, how's this gonna go? Um, but we will find out in the taste test, of course. Here is the nutrition facts and the ingredient list for you so you can see for yourself if it's something you want. The thing I love about these sides is how easy they are to prepare. So these all come refrigerated and all you have to do is pop them in the microwave and um, you're good to go. Or you can do the oven. There's two options here. But um, yeah, some of these sides are hit and miss. So, you know, some I love, some I don't, but this one looks interesting and I'm, I'm excited to at least see what kind of flavor profile it has and we'll let you know in the taste test. Now with the cornbread stuffing. This one I believe is not vegetarian, so I didn't get to try it last year, but I don't remember Tim loving this one. So um, buy at your own risk. I, I don't, I can't remember if this was a popular one or not last year, but Here's the nutrition facts for you just to see if it is vegetarian. I thought it had some kind of, yeah, chicken fat and chicken broth. So definitely not a vegetarian item, but those that don't care, um, it's now available and then it makes your stuffing much easier. And I think a lot of people like that cornbread stuffing and it has apples, cranberries, and herbs in it. So once again, both found in the refrigerator. Now, we also got in the four cheese ravioli. This has a totally new package and it's a new supplier, so it's definitely gonna taste different. Even the size of the ravioli are smaller than the previous four cheese ravioli, if you remember that from, I don't know how long it's been gone. It's been gone a long time, but this is brand new, so we're just calling it a new product because of the supplier and the way it looks and the size. Everything's new about it. So we'll be trying this in the taste test as well just to see how it tastes and if we like it or whatnot. Um, let me just make sure that I can have this because sometimes, oh, there's animal rennet in it. Why do they do this? Why do they do this? Um, Tim will be trying this in the taste test and letting you know how it is, so bummer. The gobbler quesadilla is also back. This one is great for people that love turkey and cranberries. I feel like I remember Tim saying this had a lot of cranberry in it. So if you're not a cranberry person or a turkey person, this probably isn't gonna be for you. But if you love both, it is in a quesadilla form. So grab it while it's available. Once again, these are kind of all in the same spot. Like the quesadilla and the sides um, are all in the same spot, at least in my store. So those three are available right now.
Now we're moving on to some cheese. Now speaking of cranberry, the cranberry goat cheese is back and this is so popular. It came back yesterday for the first time and now that you guys know demo is back, it started October 1st. If you're looking for the samples again, the demo station is back. It's a little different than it was before, but it is now available. And my store was previewing this cheese and I'm not kidding you, the shelf was like flying off, like everything was flying off the shelf because everybody loves this goat cheese with the cranberries and because it's limited and seasonal, you got to get it now. So if you're looking for this, um, pick it up while it's here. Same with the white Stilton cheese. This is also a really big favorite. We sold out of this yesterday. It was the first day we got it and it was gone by the end of the day. And it also has cranberries. So if you're a cranberry lover, there's lots of options for you. Um, and these two cheeses are extremely popular. Now to two new cheeses that we just got in. Tim's absolute most favorite thing in the taste test this week has got to be the Point Reyes Toma Truffle. We all know how much Tim likes that truffle stuff. I'm totally kidding. We'll see if he wants to um, try this or not. Um, maybe he won't because the truffle stuff last year was out of control. But this one is great because it says pair me with sparkling wine, melt me into pasta or risotto, fold me into scrambled eggs. There's a lot of ideas just on the front cover. I love that. Why don't they market things like that more? Because I think it's so helpful for us who maybe be we're new to the flavor or new to like how to eat it. And I love that they just have that right on the front. Let's make that normal. <laughs> I wanna have more recipes like that in the front of things, makes it easier. So this one is a Point Reyes farm stand cheese. It's a savory artisanal cheese and it is. it says serve at room temp. So that's cool and let's see the back. So here's the nutrition facts for you. And it is. it has black summer truffles, black truffle brissures and black truffle truffle juice. Wow, there's a lot of truffle -y going on in this one. So I'm thinking it's going to be quite the flavorful cheese. Um, oh, it says women owned too. That's pretty cool. Made in the USA. So there you go. This is a brand new cheese and it's, I don't know how long this will stick around. This might have been the spotlight. I didn't see the sign for it, but Regardless, there's that. Now the Sage Derby, this is another new cheese that just came in. We've got a creamy English cheddar cheese blended with sage and spinach. Sounds amazing, it's a product of England. You can see right here, and it's microbial enzymes. Woohoo, I get to try it. This cheese looks incredible to me. I cannot wait to um, see how this one tastes, but I like the color too. I think it's a really unique, really cool marbled green color. I actually like looked at countertops that looked like this at one point because I really like this look. Um, but in cheese form, yum, you know? So there you go. New cheeses to try, seasonal cheeses to try. Really fun. I also picked up some potato salad. This just sometimes I just have a hankering for this and that was the case when I picked this up. It just, you know, I already dug into it a little bit because I love just having an easy go-to potato salad. This one is like no frills, but super tasty. And I love that you can add things to it. So if you want to add more celery or if you want to add mustard or um, more eggs, there's eggs in this one, but you can always add more. The dill, uh, dill pickle mustard is so yummy to add in this or even the pickle seasoning if you have those from the summer still because those are both um, out of stock like for the season now but uh, those are good additions to this potato salad also got our normal sourdough sandwich bread I also got a ciabatta demi baguette Tim and I have the weekend to ourselves Benson's going over for sleepover at the grandparents house so we thought maybe we'll do a little cheese and wine with some bread. And actually, we might share that with you on the taste test. Why not? Why not? Let's, let's make it a party. Um, that'll be fun. So this is really good bread, though, to serve with soft cheese. I love bread and cheese. I just think it's the best combo. And this baguette is delicious. So yum. Also got some kettle cooked potato chips, our staple, as I always say. Now the pillar candles are back. And I know some of you guys are just like boring. Like, who cares? It's just a white pillar candle. I, I was that way, too. That's how I always thought until I actually burned one. Now, there is something very unique about these candles. They're dripless. So you literally don't even need to put anything underneath. You could just set this on your counter, your bathtub, wherever you want to light a candle. It doesn't drip. And it's truly a dripless candle. Um, and I love that. It says it burns for 80 hours because this is a big, big, chonky candle, which I love. And... Um, it says that it's smokeless too. So they're made with hand poured paraffin and single cotton wick. 
These candles are incredible and I will be sad the day they discontinue them. Like I said, for years I slept on them and did not care, but now I am a total fan and I stand these candles so hard because they're just amazing and they're so perfect. The white candle is great for anything. I can decorate these for Halloween. I can use them for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, literally, or even New Year's Eve. Like, come on, these are perfect. And of course you can put these in any type of candle holder and they'll look really nice. This all peels off by the way, so you don't need to keep this on, it's plastic. Um, all right, moving on to the holiday vegetable hash. This is back into, I love using this in a soup. That's what I did last year. You just saute the veggies for a little bit in a pan and then you dump them in with your base and add whatever else you want to your soup and it makes a delicious, very flavorful soup because all of these veggies in here, there's butternut squash, sweet potato, red onion, celery, parsley, sage, rosemary, these are fantastic veggies to really flavor anything. So if you wanna put them in your eggs, you can do that. People use it for their stuffing, for Thanksgiving. Um, honestly, you can you can do it whatever you want with it. It's great though, and it's really big too. So that's how big it is. There's just a ton of stuff in there. Now I'm coming down here. We've got some Alfredo sauce. I'm just restocking what I used this past weekend. Um, and then we have a couple beers that I wanted to try. This one is the October Fest um, Marzen Authentic Bavarian Festival Lager. I thought this was a really cool, I don't know, Oktoberfest beer. I wanted to try it. It comes in a four pack, but I just picked up one. This one also, this is the Early Bird Coronado Brewing Co. French Toast Milk Stout. Milk Stout brewed with maple syrup, coffee, cinnamon, and natural flavors added. I think this is definitely gonna need to be tried in the taste test. How unique is that? I just some of these beers they come up with are insane um, in the best way possible. So I'm excited to try this one, see how it tastes. Now to one of my favorite things that came in this week, which is brew red wine with spices added. So this is another wine you want to heat up and have like on the stove top with a really cool, um, what do they call it? A ladle to scoop out your wine and you can even add like some cinnamon sticks in there and give it even more of that little cinnamony flavor but look at the label I mean come on Trader Joe's thank you for bringing this into my store I'm so excited for this um, yeah Halloween my favorite also got the Corvelia Zinfandel. I've showed Corvelia before. This is a fantastic Cabernet Sauvignon. That's what we have year round. Now the Zinfandel, fun fact, only comes out one time a year at Trader Joe's and this is the time. So you know I've got to pick it up. I've heard great things. I believe I've tried this in the past, but I don't really remember it. Um, I love Zinfandels. Zen, Zen Reds are my favorite favorite with Malbecs too. Um, but I really, really am looking forward to trying this because um, knowing that it's only here one time a year makes it a little more special and I really can't wait. We're not gonna be opening this in the taste test because I don't wanna open too many things like I do every week, it's just too much. But I am nevertheless so excited for when the time comes to open this and try it because it just sounds amazing. Um, and then I also got Tim's Pineapple Sparkling, Watermelon Sparkling, and then up here, the room spray is back. This is the pomander one. Um, there's another room spray for the summer that's more citrusy. And then this one is the orange, mandarin, cinnamon, and clove. This smells incredible. I absolutely love this. Now, every time I share this, people are like, if you have cats, be careful, which is totally true. And I appreciate the warning. So those of you out there that use these room sprays, make sure they're staying away from your cats because they can be dangerous and poisonous to them. So um, what I like to do is spray my curtains in the house and I'll spray it pretty high so the cats can't get to them. And I don't do too much, just a light mist, but it really makes your whole house smell very fall and festive and I just love it. So this is such a good price point too. I absolutely love this room spray and I'm gonna pick up a couple more before the season's over for these because they're great. Now we also got the new organic biscuits in. So you'll see the crescent rolls and the biscuits look different. So if you've been buying these for years, now they have a new look to them and they're both organic now. So before they weren't, so it is gonna be a new formulation I believe and it'll taste probably slightly different. Um, one thing I was talking to a customer about yesterday actually, she was concerned because the other ones previously said they were vegan. These ones do not say they're vegan. Um, and the reason she had concern is because it says do not eat 
um, before they're cooked. Now, I don't know if that's just a warning for people to make sure they're not eating raw dough, but there are no eggs in the ingredient list. So if you know, we try to contact um, Trader Joe's corporate to find out why that was on there and there's no vegan labeling on this because when you look at the ingredients, there's nothing to show that there, there is like some animal byproduct in here unless it's coming from the natural flavors. That's my only guess, um, but no eggs or anything like that. So just so you know, this is back in and it's a new package as well as the organic biscuits too. So that's fun. And then the last thing I grabbed is this banana bread beer. I'm so excited for this beer. I haven't been this excited for a beer in a long time because I really like banana bread beer. I know it's weird. I just like that flavor. I think it tastes good. We'll see how this one is. I am a little skeptical just because of the price point. A six pack is $4.99, um, which is like, why is it so incredibly affordable? <laughs> uh, so we'll find out when we do this in the taste test. It's a 5.2% alcohol. And um, there's like a little chart here. I don't know if you guys can see that kind of hard to read it's really small print but it basically says the style is a flavored malt beverage lager blend and then it has like some ratings on here which I don't understand but anyways I'm excited to try this we will be trying that in the taste test as well so we're gonna be trying a couple beers and maybe I'll open the wine I don't know maybe I will and by the way if you're looking at this bowl set I shared a huge haul my Costco haul last week if you haven't seen that video I highly recommend it especially if you're a wine lover if you like sparkling wines if you like excitement I like popped off on that video I was so excited um so if you haven't seen it I highly recommend it um, there you go. That's it for this week. Lots of stuff and so many fun things to try in the taste test. So I hope to see you guys over there and that's it. And just like that, the video is over. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to watch tomorrow's video with the taste test. We're gonna be trying a lot of new things. I'm really excited about those apples. They smell so good. I'm also putting out my Halloween home decor video, so stay tuned for that. That should be out on Monday. Um, a lot of people have been asking about that. And then I'm gonna do a tablescape video to follow sooner than later. So stay tuned, make sure your notifications are turned on and you're subscribed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.